This episode of Kayak Bassin is brought to you by Wilderness Systems, makers of the Commander, Ride, and Tarpon series of premium fishing kayaks. For more information, visit wildernesssystemsfishing.com. Second fish of the day, draw blood. Got a good fish on a crankbait bite first thing this morning and uh, go down to lip it and fish jumps and this is what we get uh, for reward. So uh, still got the fish. Both of us are hooked. All right, so Chris has got a pretty good hook in his hand. And uh, one of the first things you wanna do before you attempt to take the hook out is you wanna get the bait off. The worst thing you wanna do when you do this pull down snatch removal is to have the bait bed, embed itself again or worse off, hook both of you and then you're kind of screwed because it's hard to help your buddy when he's hooked too. So what you want to do is make two loops, one little small loop and what you do with that is you take that loop and you put it through the actual eye of the hook just like this. That's going to give you something to keep the hook planed out. Then you're going to want to take your other line and what I do is I double it up and then double it up again. You want a minimum of about 20 pound mono. If you can get 40, that's probably even better, but we're bass fishing. Nobody out here's got 40 pound leader with them today. So take this 20 pound, double it up with a couple of double overhand knots. Take that and get it nice and tight because the worst thing you can do is to have this thing break or slip on you when you get ready to do it because then all you do is put the angler in more pain. There's a couple ways to do this. The way that I do this is a little overhand finger trick. Just put it through there like that and make an overhand loop. You're going to take this entire loop and bring it over the hook. So hold that line for me, Chris. You're going to bring that. Now bring that through there. And you want to get this underneath the barbs. You want to come as close to that hook shank as you possibly can. Just like that. Now, with this piece, you're going to want to level that off to where you can hold it flush. And you want that hook shank as parallel as you can possibly get it to be in level. You want to get all the slack out of that line that you possibly can. And then what I like to do is literally double this thing around my hand a couple times so I can get a good grip. So the trick is, is to have enough tension on it to keep it flush. Is that hurting? A little bit. To keep it flush and to be able to pull it out the way that it entered. So let the hook go and kind of find its natural position because what it's going to do is it's going to level out. If it went in and caught a tendon or something, it's going to turn, but you can feel that by pushing on the hook and that's why I laid that hook over to make sure it didn't have a hold of a tendon. Because if he's got a tendon running down his hand, you snatch that out of there backwards, you could rupture or tear a, a real you know, important part of the way that your hand functions. There was no deflection in there and you didn't feel a little pop. You'd have felt it pop like a guitar string had there been anything in there. So the way that this works is, <laughs> is it's pretty simple. You pull this part down and you lay it flush. What I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to stabilize your hand. So okay. I'm gonna need you to take that hand okay. and put it on top right here. I want you to push down as hard as you possibly can. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level this hand, level this out with this hand. And I'm not gonna have this wrapped around my hand because I want this part to slip. So you push down as hard as you possibly can. And though this doesn't seem Humane, it's the best way to do it. It's kind of like jerking a kid's tooth out. So you want to level that part out. You want to get that hook barb up and, and flush. Level that out and snatch. And it comes right out. And I'll tell you, if I told him one, two, three, anything crazy, he's going to sit there and flinch. And when you flinch, your hand will grab that hook no matter how hard you think you are. So the way to do this is to be talking, distract the angler, give him something to do to keep him preoccupied, and bam, the hook comes right out. Just like that. And you can put that on your trophy wall, my friend. <laughs> there we go. Now let's get some fish. Appreciate that.